Yeah. It was like that with no lights on. Okay. Right, not even the red doodah. Okay. Red that switch there is the pump switch. Pumps in there. Um, I did have somebody out yesterday. Yep. Uh, he had a look, but I don't really think he could work out really what was the matter with it. Oh dear, and you've got me today. <laughs> um, but anyway, he, he put that switch down and he said, well, your pump's working fine. Um, to me, it's well, the boiler's not firing up because the little control. Where's your hot water cylinder? Up in the loft. Okay. Um, the, um, the little control panel in the kitchen, you know, where you switch your hot water on and off, and you yeah. He did something yesterday and that came on. Um, okay. But it, the boiler isn't, but the radiators are not getting warm, it, it, it's not firing up. Okay. <laughs> So, for me to be the uninitiated, it sounds as if it's like the ignition that's not uh, kicking in. Does the boiler do anything at all? No, it's not that. It sounds to me like it's possibly a control issue. You're going to have a zone valve or something somewhere that sends power to the boiler. So, we'll have a look. We'll have a look. All right. Yep. That is a weird place to put an air vent in it. How do they get to them? Okay. Can't remember the last time I worked on one of these. Just want to put a demand on. See what happens. Where's your controller? Can you turn your hot water and your heating on? Is it through? No, it's in the kitchen. In the kitchen. Oh, that's that way. Is on continuous at the minute. Well, that's just how he left it. It, it, it wasn't, but uh, he was messing with it yesterday, so I suppose it's just how he's left it. He said the pump's working. Yeah. That's what he said. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> So you'll pump up in here vibrating away. Oh, yeah. Okay. running nothing else is running now power to the fan we've got an hour of heat stuck there so i'm guessing this is overheated 
so we'll just check continuity through that. We'll just drop the power. Okay, so we've got continuity through that. using that let's see what happens okay something's popping I'd say you fan possibly blew the fuse straight away So just disconnected that fan for a minute. I'll drop another fuse in, see what happens. Okay, so just put another fuse back in there. We've got the fan disconnected. I'll see what happens this time. to prove what's going on here. Strongly suspect it's that fan. So I'll see if we can take a resistance reading across that motor. Okay, so we're just taking a resistance reading that fan. We should have about 60 ohms across that. As you can see we're at 1.6. So clearly that is the problem there. It's blowing the fuses on the board along with the seal, the vanishing seal there. So, I'll get them parts ordered up. fan seal up there is all split and the motor's gone on this so we'll get that fan out and get it replaced
the scrap out of white. silicon grease on the mouth of that seal and we can slide our fan back into position so you literally slide the fan into position and lift it up to locate it and you've got a securing screw in front okay we will try and lift it up from the fan body itself not the motor it's going to take two hands just to slide one over the back Easy way to do it. Get it in position. Put your file underneath it. Lift it up. And our screw can go back in. sample point there on the back of the flue which is where you do a spillage test from on this one uh, we sample point which is really pre analyzed this boiler is which I wouldn't take too much interest in what the analyzer says on this cast heat exchange is really known for causing analyzer to play up so we smoke bomb the chimney already check the flue integrity we check for the ventilation because we're going to treat this as a open fluid appliance even though it's got a fan in there draft diverter is part of the hood at the back it's got a spillage uh, detection device in the flue on this so it'll pick up overheating and shut it down as well we've just checked with back see it's been a while since we've worked and one of the instructions are a bit crap so we've just checked with back see what tests we're going to do so it's our gas rate um spillage test kind of takes care of itself um burner pressure can't really sample it at the back there so flame picture and we're good to go Seems to be dropping out. Fans running. So we can check that air pressure switch. Make sure that's not operating correctly. Okay. I just want to see what these. What's going on with this air pressure switch? So. So normally closed and the top, which is our common, should have continuity now. I'm going to test that.
Christmas paper to do some, uh, Okay, so I've got an issue with a pressure switch fan. So the fan will run. Pressures which was made, ignition, and off. Okay. This is one of these jobs, man. So, if you've got restrictions in the flu or the heat exchanger, that's going to cause a problem. But for some reason, I'm not saying it is, we seem to have a bit of a blockage of some sort there. Or is it? Okay, gently suck on this air pressure switch tube. Give it an air pressure switch make and just pinching the end of that tube and roll that for 60 seconds all the way around. If I that click out, I know I've got a hole in that pipe, I've got a hole in the diaphragm. There's something going on with that line there. Pressure sensor connected to the venturi of the fan. Click on the air pressure switch. Let's see, 0.8 millibar minimum to operate it. So, we'll do a little test on that. Let's see what we're getting. Four, one point five. So as long as it is at the minute, but the same it's maintaining enough pressure. Hello. Hello. Yeah, please. I've got some good news and I've got some bad news. The good news is your boiler's working. Bad news is it's probably going to rain this afternoon. Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> I'm not going to hit you. Well, I can kiss you and then I'm not going to hit you. <laughs>